So now we're just going to be deciding on the stage again. I don't really know who Pelotok plays. And here is a. Here's where we figured out. Yeah, again, making sure that the the right player is on the right side. A oh, bayonetta. bayonetta. Oh, we are seeing it every character you don't see in Smash Four. Yeah, like mm -hmm. we saw Mars. We, we saw. Yeah, we saw the Marth. We saw the Sheik, bro. This is this is uh, what's the word? Remin yeah, reminiscence. Dude, you know, walk down memory lane. Time machine, man. The, the way back machine, let's go. Okay. So Bayonetta also a character who got buffed in the recent patch. She can kind of do some things, but... I mean, her counter is actually usable now. Oh, yeah. You know, you see someone countered, and then they don't immediately get out. Like, wh where the hell did you even try to hit me with that? All right. So Bayonetta is a much different character in this game, and I think what a lot of people have been having struggles with is they're so used to what Bayonetta can do in the last game, they're like, anything less than a just trash character. All right. I mean, Bayonetta still has, like, insane combos that can rack up, like, 40 to 60%. Yeah, the thing with Bayonetta in this game is that she can still do her combos. They're just not going to kill. Right. And you have to be okay with that. And Bayonetta can still, like, camp you out with uh, bullets because they're still pretty decent. Right. And, like, her afterburner kick, the, 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 the dab one, the down angle one, is still pretty safe on shield. Like, Oh, barely missing the jab uh, turnaround back air. I and she can still recover insanely. She still has triple jump. Yep. You know, and yet again, that quick afterburner kick is such a good, like, out of ledge option. Oh, my gosh. That was you, – you really you really hated to, like, see that happen in, like, Smash 4 or just any game. Right. When you get bats and witch time because you're like, oh, I, th I was this close to timing it right. Right. Barely going to – not going to get the sweet it spot like of that. It was, like, the exact frame when, like, witch time ends and, like, the bats within, like, activates. Like, it's the exact frame. That's unfortunate. So, Pelotalk actually going to take this uh, first stock. But grounded up B, going to take it. If you do it in the air, it's not really going to kill. But once you get it on the ground, that's really when you want to get that sweet spot. And grounded does have armor. Okay. So you can just kind of bite through some moves. Yeah. And definitely, like, uh, uh, Bayonetta is going to have to worry about, like, what she push pressures on shield with. Because then they'll up E out of shield. You know, can potentially do a lot of damage as well as kill her. Mm -hmm. But right now, Peloton, or I'm going to call him PT for now. PT is getting so much damage, actually. He's getting these conversion. It doesn't look like Sour really knows what to do against Bayonetta. Like, he has that idea, but it's still a new game. You have to figure out the character. It's so, like, yeah, the neutral is different now. So, like, what is she going to approach with? You now, how can I punish those options? Oh, reading that, reading the uh, the dab with the counter. Right. Ooh, that was good. Oh, I think he's dead. Never mind, I've been wrong as hell. Yeah, yeah she had all of her research. I was never been more wrong in my life. Tries to go for the runoff Nair, but the Nair has a little too much startup. All right. Oh, I like a little bit of bullets, though. All right. Ooh, I like that down angled afterburner kick to, to snap to ledge instead of going yeah, for that. Yeah, that was the cutest recovery I've ever seen, and we're going to die to that. Yeah, you see those buffs? Look at that. Give me that. Like, what? before, it's just like I might get an up smash if you, I'm, like, quick enough. Yeah, you'd have time for an uncharged up smash if you time it frame perfect. Now it's like, all right. We'll I can actually time. charge it for a little bit and get a kill. Oh, dash attack actually can kill at the top. I don't think he was ready for that kind of DI. Right. So one stock apiece. PT is... uh. PT is playing. Her, his neutral is seeming really good. He's not just throwing things out, just doing those grounded dabs like you see a lot of lower-level Bayos do. Right. And look at this damage, 73%. I swear he was just at zero. He was at zero. Oh, my God. Like, I what love that. Read. You're going to do it again? Okay. <laughs> like, no, not enough stage. Like, okay, I'm going to try to swing out an attack. He only got 17% on it. I think he was trying to – you think he wanted to see if he was going to air dodge again and still has 40% on him. All right. Quick up air, up B, up B again, and into the fair. He's at 114. That, that was two combos, and he's at over 100. And that's actually it. You got – you're nice. That was a smash four combo, bro. PT, that was cool. I'll give you some mad props. I love that. Dude, that was super clean, the the app, the, the, the afterburner kick to the up smash. Like, I figured, like, okay, you know, a lot of Bayonets, they're, they're probably going to go for the, the down smash to go for, the, like, the extra style points, you know, try to get the spike off stage. But Peltox is like, no, nah, I, I want the kill. This guy's good. Let's just seal the stock now. Yeah, like, Bayonetta isn't hiding right now. You see, Captain Zack still plays Bayonetta, but you don't really see him on the big stage. Like, we saw him at Smash and the Splash, I think, against Nairo, who took him to the game five. And even now, I was like, I don't know what the hell to do against that character. I'm surprised I won. Yep. And I know Tameem still plays Bayo. I don't know if you know where he is. I a mean, lot of Tameem, Tameem, I feel like, dropped the game entirely. Yeah, exactly. I know he tried Bayo for a bit, but 
wasn't working, but Pelta yeah. going to take this first game. So looking really good. Cyrus sticking with the Roy. I'd like to. No, I think the Roy was still working. I would say maybe go a different character, but it still worked. All right. I mean, maybe Chrom, but like I feel like the Roy did more damage, like up close, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I do feel like the Chrom might have been a better idea, but again, that's what Cyro's more comfortable with. And if there's a character y you think of when you hear Cyro, it's it's Roy. Yeah. Ooh, I oh. like that tomahawk. And yeah, fast pass, it give me the quick jab. Jab not lasting like four seconds like it used to. All right. But it kills. It kills after the patch. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it does. Oh, I did not see that. That's cool. You know what? I'm fine with giving Bale a little bit of buffs. Let's not make her ridiculous again because that was... Like, I feel like Bale, like she is right now, is perfectly fine. Yeah, I think, yeah, maybe a couple more, like, balance changes and she'll be a perfectly fine character, but right. we, don't, we don't need Smash 4 Bale anymore, for being right. honest. Oh, gets that uh, dab into the afterburner kick. Dab ABK. Mm. Yeah, again, going for all these options, not going to be able to get a throw, but yep, gets go. hit by that up B when she tried going for that edge guard. Going for that uh, falling air again. It's not really seeming to work. Jab, back air going to hit. Finally getting that confirmed. We saw the last time he got it. They were both jab, just forward airs. Mm -hmm. Again, finds the afterburner kick. Not going to be able to quite find it anything more because he was able to DI out of it. You know, PT still does not have this first stock. Has him at 150%. All right. But all these like safe back airs on shield. Like. Yeah, Bayo's getting at that point where she's like, I need to kill. I either need that read, or I just need to go for these space back airs. All I right. think four throw, but not going to kill just yet. All right. Oh, did you just kill with just a regular dab? That yep, it was afterburner kick to afterburner kick. Oh, you just poked him twice, but F smash at what, 60%? Oh, that's, that's disgusting. Yep, Syro, two whole stocks, 0%. Pelotox going to have to pull out some... Damn near ridiculous uh, Bayo combos if he wants to bring this one back and close it out 2-0. I mean, here's... Oh, no. Not he getting in the second hit of up tilt. I thought that got, I thought that got fixed, man. I, it, it said it got fixed, but... No, it happens. Sometimes multi-hits just don't work. All right. Maybe if you, like, smash the eye, like, out of it so that, like, you don't get into the second hit. Oh, afterburner kick to the fair. Oh. And he lands on the platform and punishes Bayo for it, but not getting a strong enough punish, unfortunately. Mm. Oh, this is going to be a big punish here. He's going for the uh, the double-edged dance. Yep. Winds up with the jab again. Ooh, manages to find a grab. I know, Cyrus is looking like he found his uh his motion right now. All right. I feel like he really lost those that first game because he got hit with Witch Time twice at kill percent, you know? Mm -hmm. So he's being a lot more careful with how he throws out his moves. Yeah, I think he's respecting... He's respecting PT a lot more, and he's realizing I need to whip punish because PT's throwing out a lot of hitbox, and he can be crazy. But if you just you know, walk away and just let him use all of his moves, you're going to get the punish. All right. Like, on God, where you will get this punish. Ooh, gets the up and nothing out of it, and it gets punished for it. Yep. See, there we go. Just walk out of range, and I will hit you. Oh, he read that roll back, too, but unfortunately, f a little too slow. Oh, the, the, the gun's not going to find their mark, and then... Yet again, PT is just trying to find his way in. Not oh. going to be able to quite find it yet again. Yeah, not sitting at that good angle that you would have wanted to move. Just jump over back air into two stock. 149% on Siles. Looks like he's finally found what he needs to do against this character. Right. Let's see what kind of uh, adaptations PT is going to have for game three. You know, Pillow Talk definitely doing a lot of good things in that match of, you know, keeping his cool. But, yet again, you ha one of you has to commit at some point. And for... What a sortie does, you don't want the sortie to approach. Yeah. Even if it is Roy, you can still you can still do some things on your shield. All right. Uh, let's see where we're going to go. We're, looks like we're talking about the stage picks. Back to PS2? All right, All I right. like it. You did so well on that the first game. So PS2 seems like a really good stage for Bayonetta. You have a lot of space to extend your combos, and I think Smashville was so good for Roy just because he kills off the side a lot. Right. And so. we are beginning game three. Mm -hmm. So let's see if uh, Pelo Talk can, like, kind of calm down his neutral a little bit and then try to adapt to the fact that Cyrus was just, you know, walking back and whiff punishing. All right. I think that's really what you that's what you have to do against Bayo. You just have to realize that right. she's going to throw out a lot of things, and then you just have to find a way to get away from it, bait her to do it, and then 
go in there once he lands. Mm. And yet again, Bayonetta getting a lot of these like early percent combos with the afterburner kick. Manages to find something there and finds the re-grab. Trying to go for the edge guard, but unfortunately loses out to the up B. Yeah, he's tried the falling near and the falling up air so far. At that point, you really... You either need to just let him back for free, or yeah, go for that low up B. Yeah. That's what I was just going to say. Oh no, Ooh, he's dead. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, That hurt. You know he was trying to put out some sort of hitbox to beat that out, but he just traded. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Pillow Talk right there. Ooh, back again. throw, and then yet again. Oh back yeah, air. we're hitting that one. That meaty back, you're going to take that stock. Only 10% on PT. Yep. Definitely, he, found, he finally found the aerial to beat out that up B. You know, even if it trades, like as long as it kills. like Yeah, that's definitely what you need right there. Oh, yeah, it gets that meaty back here because it was a roll. Right. See, there we go again, just reading the, the yep. whiff punishes. Yep. Oh, I, I disagree with that, Guns. Maybe he thought he was facing the other direction, but unfortunately, Cyril's going to find his way in. He manages to get caught by that afterburner kick, but, you know, PT not being able to follow up with much else. And uh, like I said about PT needing to slow down, you actually see now he's not throwing out these – a ridiculous amount of hitboxes. He's just trying to play the neutral right. a little more patient. But the way that this neutral is being played, that's how Cyro always plays. So he's so comfortable right now. He's like, let me just walk back and forth. Let me read you. Like, Cyro is such a patient player. Like, it almost, it's almost bad sometimes because he's just so patient. I love it. All right. And finally finishes the empty landing. Gets an F tilt. Oh, uh, which time right there. Oh, but counting his lucky stars because it wasn't that uh, sweet spot of that F tilt. Right. Oh, but manages to find the sweet spot at F tilt that time. Yeah, when both these players are at high percent, I'd really be scared as Bayonetta just because I have to overcommit. And if I do all my things and miss, I have so much lag. Well, Roy's just like, I have to walk forward, jab, and then sometimes just do a side B, and I'll right. be able to get the stock. Or, like, I'll walk back, and then I'll four tilt. Exactly. Like, was, yeah. Roy kill percent is, like, he, he can be so calm just because he's like, I know these three moves I hit are pretty safe, and I can, just, I can do it at any distance. And, like, if, let's just say, like, it, it whiffs. Like, there's so little end lag on it that I won't be punished too hard for it for whiffing. Mm -hmm. It's a double uh, side B forward, but not going to hit yet. 70% on Pelotalk. I think Sai was finally found his read on PT. He's looking to close this out with another two stock. Ooh. Big slam yep. on the F smash. Double two stock for Syro. Yep. That was, like, PT's, like, kind of go-to, like, panic option was afterburner.